A drama alert, and the Gasocast is here to cover it. Tomorrow night we'll be live with a bunch of friends to open the heavy metal Halloween boxes and I'm super, super stoked to see what kind of trash we're going to get in each one of those boxes. Oh, stop it. It's going to be treasure. And I hope that I can get that 500 piece sound wave or maybe somebody else will get it during the live and we can make some tradesies. We'll have to see what we unbox during that live. Make sure you're there at 8.30 p.m. Eastern, which is tomorrow, October the 29th. Don't miss out. Be right here on the channel and watch Watch us unbox our heavy metal Halloween boxes. Someone got Funko Ween card packs early. Hmm, sounds shady to me. Yeah, it does sound kind of weird, doesn't it? No. I mean, we didn't get any card packs. Funko will probably say, fuck you. Oh my God. Yeah. Funko, you're so vulgar. How dare you, first mm. off. Second off, this Funko Ween drop is amazing and I'm super excited about it. And we're gonna talk about every single piece from this drop. We haven't really gotten to talk about it yet because we posted a photo, because we posted a video where we talked about a photo that was very vague. So yes. at least we can cover all of that. But first, let's get to the drama because there was drama on Twitter. And I gotta be honest with you. It wasn't a whole lot of drama because it's not like spreading. It's very, very tiny, but we were tagged in it. So we wanted to talk about it just a little tiny bit because that's what we do. Well, there was also posts on Facebook about it. Was there? Mm -hmm. Okay, there was posts on Facebook also. We were tagged in that. We right. were said that. Okay, so apparently there is an account on Drop who received some packs already. Hmm. Hmm. The packs that they received were the Funko Ween packs. In case we weren't yes. clear enough, it's the new Freddy Funko dressed up as like a bunch of different characters and they glow in the dark and they're really cool. So the person who received them got 15 premium packs. That's a lot of money. That is. $30 per pack. They must be someone real special. 30, and you said 15? $30 per pack. Let me just, let me do that. Don't, no, no. Oh, come on, let me do the math. Fresh I was going to be here all day. So the drama is that these 15 packs hit a drop while it early. And everybody's wondering, what the fuck? What is this about? And why is it happening? Because it should be me, damn it. It should be me. Okay, so I'm going to read off some comments from the Facebook post. So first, the fuck? Following, so hopefully we get an explanation. They must work for drop. Oh dear. Just report to Funko and drop and account will be deleted. Oh my god. All a scam insider BS. On the Discord, someone asked about it and Patrick responded. He said it's related to promos and giveaways. And someone said, I hope that's true. And Patrick said it is. And honestly, Honestly, before I saw that screenshot, I literally just saw it just now. I do have an answer that I feel is true. So in case you aren't aware, Funko does work with influencers and you will notice that Funko and Drop never work with influencers on licensed packs. So they worked with Wasatch during the April Fool's Drop. Right. They worked with a ton of influencers, including us, during the Monster crates. Right, I remember that. We had to sign an NDA and everything. We're a big fucking deal. I know. But then they decided that they can't work with us anymore because they don't like what we say about their shitty fucking packaging. But that's another story You're for another Funko? Day. Yeah. Oh, okay, sure. And now this is happening with another Funko related drop. It is unlicensed. It's Funko's own licensing. Yeah, because it's Freddy Funko dressed up as a bunch of things. And the a bunch of things are, some of them are cool and some of them are weird. I just want to squash all of that shit right now because this is 100% going to an influencer. There is no doubt in my mind about it. 15 packs, that's such like an even number. That's a lot of money. It is a lot of money. 450 but, buckaroo bonds. But got to be someone real big. Oh, okay. Who knows whoever that could be that loves Funko and that's a YouTube channel. Who knows? Or maybe a TikToker. Or maybe a TikToker. Or maybe an OnlyFans. Or, wait, Funko do that? Probably not. We should start an OnlyFans so we can be the first OnlyFans to ever work with Funko. That would be amazing. That would be funny. Funkos and Majunkos. That would be our OnlyFans. <laughs> I like that name. That's a good name. My guess is between right now and Tuesday, because that's when the drop is, you are going to see an influencer post a video opening these packs before the actual drop happens. We did our own investigating, and you can track every single thing on the blockchain. Funko and Drop would not be dumb enough 
to allow these packs to get out get out because you can see everything that happens on the blockchain. There's exactly. just no you, way. You can track literally everything on there. And so where we tracked it from, it came from monster.dp. It came from mint.dp. Right, mint.dp. Then monsters.dp, then this address. So my guess is monsters.dp is some sort of like drop address because when we received our monster crates, it came from an account named mnstrs.dp, which is no longer active. So my guess is monsters.dp replaced Took that. Took over, yeah. Yeah, so when we received those crates directly from Drop, it went from Mint to mnstrs.drop to us. Issue solved. So in the midst of all this, we were attacked on Twitter, now known as X, and somebody called us clowns. And the reason why they called us clowns is because they had posted some information that was wrong and then we made a video correcting their wrongness. And here we are again making a video about how their conspiracy theory is most likely not correct and I just can't wait to say I told you so when we see whoever that is post that video because I know it's coming. All right, so let's talk about the Funko Ween exclusives because the last time we made this video, we mainly speculated what these Funko Pops were going to be. And I was right. They all glow in the dark in some way. and It's fucking awesome. I'm super, super stoked over this particular set. I did notice that a lot of comments came through saying that they didn't like this set a whole lot. And they were sort of in agreement with you because you weren't a super fan of these Funko Pops. Okay, so let me reiterate this because it's not that I don't like them. I think they're fucking cool. I love when Funko does their own thing and uses their own properties to make things. I personally just don't connect with these characters okay. so much. Like, a lot of you are right. That is a ninja, which is crazy. I've never seen, like, the ninja. It's like a helmet sort of yeah, thing. Yeah, it's like called a, a zombie. Look, they're all zombies, okay? Yeah. This one is a zombie ninja, and he does have a throwing star in his head, and he looks really cool. He has a sword in his hand as well. Yeah, they all, they all look cool. It's just the zombies that they are don't resonate with me. Except the pirate. The pirate's fucking cool. See, that's the one I least like. So there is a pirate figure. He has well. his leg up on the treasure chest. And he's got seaweed all over his head. He's and amazing. by the way, these are all Freddy Funko zombies, which I really super love. I think this is a great idea. I love that they go in the dark as well. So this is the very first time. Am I saying this right? That this is the first time they've ever had glow in the dark figures for NFT? I don't think they've ever had that before. I don't feel comfortable saying yes or no because I feel like it had to have happened at no, some point. No, I don't believe that they've ever had glow in the dark figures for NFT ever. Not even one? No. I don't believe it. This is the first time. Back to the Future didn't have one. No. Dungeons and Dragons didn't have one? No. Are you sure? 100%. These are the very first glow in the dark Fungo Pops, and if you want to tell me that I'm wrong, let us know in the comment section down below. But I feel like the mascot for this whole entire set, I'm seeing it more than anything else, is Proto the Dog as a zombie. And I think this might be the coolest Funko Pop of the entire set. It's part skeleton, and his he's brain's amazing. coming out. Well, and he's holding that, an arm. He has a bone for an arm and his rib cage. And his rib cage, and he's like frothing at the mouth. He has like something coming out of his mouth. It, it's fantastic. But, but you hated on all this stuff. No, said, I didn't hate on good. all of it. I'm, I just said, I do like it and I love the creativity but the characters aren't really my thing. I mean, samurai, ninja, the the cowboy, the gunslinger guy, like they well, look Well, we haven't cool. gotten there yet. Hold on, hold on, let's keep moving. So let's talk about the knight. So the knight might be my favorite one. It reminds me of Army of Darkness, which is why I love it so much. And it glows. And I like that they all have stickers on them that do say that they glow. Mm -hmm. I think this is brilliant. We've been talking about Funko doing something with NFT to make it different from everything else, right? It has to stand out. Yeah. It has to be special. The these and I feel like this is the way of doing and it. And these stand out. Now, here's the thing though. If they had these exact molds as like commons, these would no longer feel special. The fact that they're doing original characters, the fact that they're so creative, like they're in different poses, they have different things on them, like the throwing star in the head, the pirate with his foot on the on the treasure chest. Yeah. Incredible. And the fact that they glow is just the icing on the cake. 100% agree. I mean, these are amazing. And they all have like some pretty cool little details. Like the Freddy Funko as Gunslinger. That's a really cool one. He has a scythe in his hand. Why does he have a scythe? He's a gunslinger. 
Doesn't matter, because he's a horror character. And look at his hat. His hat has a little coffin on it. So cool. And little skulls all over it. This is such a cool Funko Pop. I love this. I love this type of creativity. Me too. I feel like this is what I want to collect. I don't want to collect more Spider-Mans or more Captain Americas, although I do enjoy them. This is what I want to collect, something completely different. Absolutely. I'm in a full agreement with you. I'm tired of the same characters. Yes, some of them have slightly different poses, but Spider-Man is Spider-Man. I mean, you can put him in different suits and that's fine. Like, those are different enough. But most of the time, Spider-Man is just a dude in a red and a blue suit. The same old thing all the time. But yeah. the fact that we're getting Freddy Funkos all the time, like in the Halloween box, he's a bunch of different things. In the fun days boxes even though that was like a whole ordeal he's a bunch of different characters like i'm loving the creativity here so freddy funko is zombie samurai's the last one he has a glow in the dark sword and a face and everything really cool funko pop this is the grail the royalty is Proto, which is typically a spot that Freddy Funko holds himself, and then the rest are legendaries. I can't even tell you which one is my favorite. I love them all so much, but I think Proto and the Knight both stand out for me. I really love Proto because it's something different. We don't have a whole lot of Proto yet, and I like that he is like more zombie than the rest of them because he's missing an arm. Yeah. He's got his fucking rib cage out. He's got a part of his brain out. It's badass. He's amazing. So Proto and the Pirate are my faves. They're both very good Funko yeah. Pops. The Knight I love, again, because of Army of Darkness, but I think this is a stellar lineup. I think Funko absolutely murdered it with this. This is Series 1, which means we will most likely get more series in the future. Still, I'm confused, though. I don't understand why this isn't a Series 3 of their Halloween drop. Is it because know. Freddy Funko isn't actually dressed as stuff and he, these are like zombie characters? I don't know. I, I'm assuming it's because they are zombie characters. This is something different than what we've gotten before. To me, this is at the same level as the previous Halloween set. I love that they go in the dark. That just shoots it off to the fucking moon for me. I yeah. love it. I think they're great. And I will be going after all of these this upcoming Tuesday, October the 31st, by the way, which is amazing as well, at 2 p.m. Eastern. Make sure you're on the website during that time to get your very own card packs. There's 40,000 or so of these card packs that will be available at some number like that. I think it's 45. Like 45,000? It's 22,500 premium and standard. Yeah, so it's a low count. These guys are going to go really fast. People are crazy about Freddy Funko, and I know for a fact I will be there ready and waiting to buy all of the card packs. I might even spend $1,000. Chris, I'm telling you, you better fucking not. I'll be spending lots of money. But which ones do you you want, which one is your favorite, and will you be going for this Funko NFT set? We would love to know all of that and more in the comment section down below. The more that I want to know is how much you hate Funko NFTs, because you know there's going to be some guys that comment about how much they hate Funko NFTs and why do you guys make NFT content? Well, because we like it and we make content on what we like. There's your answer. I answered it before they could ask. Now tell us you hate them. In every video, we like to shout out to some of our patrons from Patreon. In this video, we'd like to shout out to Devontae McFarlane, Wayne Garber, Sean Green, Star Rosas, March Tech, Tony Madrid, David Adler, Fry Peanut Butter and Jelly, Shadow Force, and Loot in a Boot. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. We appreciate all of our patrons. You guys are amazing. And thank you for staying until the very end of the video. It helps this channel in a really big way. Also, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, also hit that little bell. That way you'll know anytime we go live or post brand new content. You don't want to miss out on any of that. We post brand new content every single day and we go live every Sunday between 8 and 9 p.m.